Okay, Nick here, doing a test to see if adding mass, water mass, to my ball will help throw the water out of the ball, off the ball. Okay, so this is my phonograph. This the, the RPMs that I just showed you, 45 RPMs and 78 RPMs. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to gather some water. Mm -hmm. uh, with this water I'm going to um, fill up my ball. Okay, we just filled up the ball, shut up the water, and notice that, uh, gee, there's water in the ball, on the ball, and in the crevices, and in fact, all over the top of the ball, and the water, in fact, looks like it's actually covering the hole, so that's really a, an important thing to uh, understand. All right. And this is going to, hopefully I can get this over here without spilling any water. And this is the hard part, I don't want to spill any water. Okay, so now we have water on our ball. Water in our ball, producing extra, extra, all that extra mass before the ball is empty. And in those crevices, you can see water. And the top of the ball is totally covered in water due to surface tension. Okay, so to start our test to see if mass uh, will throw things out of the ball, off the ball, what will it do? So let's start it at 33 RPMs. Uh, not much going on there. Not much going on there. Not throwing anything off at 33 RPMs. Let's try 45 RPMs. Yeah. Not throwing anything out of the ball off the ball, all the water is still in the crevices, all the water is still on top of the ball. So, <clears throat> let's go to 78 RPMs, and this is uh, 112,000 plus times faster than the Earth is rotating, uh, and I don't see any anything. That's 45 RPMs, 33 RPMs, and let's conclude this test. Alright. Everything is still intact. All that water is still there. Nothing got thrown out. So say cheese. Cheese.